Hey guys, you're watching Simon and Lenny. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of the Let's Play episode 40. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and uh, I know every 10 episodes we're meant to do a face cam, but it's so dark outside today uh, that you can't even see me, so there's no point, is there? So I uh, just pretend my face is there, and uh, we should all be fine. Anyway, I have done some work to the river after last episode was so terrible. I uh, I spent some time working on it, and now twice in a row I have managed to get down without crashing. I can't turn. Why can't I turn? <laughs> wow, that was so slow. I haven't been doing too bad though. I say I made it tw down twice. I've neatened up all the walls, as you can see. Look, it's all neat now, ready for our um uh, our proper walls to go in. Oh, we made it round. See, first one done. Oh, we're getting up some speed. We're picking up some speed. Slow down. Holding back on the analog stick. Over to this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Whoa. Don't spring away. Don't spring away. Come on now. Come on now. Show the people that we can do it. Show how good you are. Show how good you are. And then a big waterfall. This is actually a huge drop here. Splush. Down to the bottom. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. We had a little bit of a bump then. But it's fine. It's fine. And then down to the bottom. And then we're here. Look at that. Nicely parked. <laughs> it works. We actually made it down. As you can see, look, all the walls are now really nice and flat. So uh, any time now, I can just uh, sort of build the walls up how we want to do them. But it's nice being able to work on a flat surface. Uh, so I am well chuffed. I am extremely chuffed. I'm going to leave those mobs in there because I don't want to fill up my inventory full of... Um, the uh, the drops. I'm going to eat this last piece of bread. I think this is the, all the food that I've got now. I need to start doing some serious breeding. Unless I put... I swear I had about half a stack of steak somewhere. But I can't remember where I put it. <laughs> you see the dogs then? Oh, the reason why they're all out here is because I'm working on a bit of a project at the moment. Which we're going to now. And for some reason, uh, they all... They all teleported to me again. You know, we haven't had it for a while. Uh, we haven't had it on Xbox One at all. Uh, but apparently the bug is still in there and they all teleported to us, so I should have to inform 4J about that. I've placed a boat somewhere, haven't I? I swear I've placed something. I think I had a boat in my in my hand and I've placed it. I swear. Did I? There, there it is. <laughs> I see you. Okay, it's gone, but I don't know where the actual entity is of it. Oh well, that's okay. I've got some more boats down below. Out of the way, dog. Let's close you in. So, the project that I've been working on is a boat release system. And believe me, it is extremely difficult to do. Extremely difficult to do. So I've been working a little bit on it. There's really not much redstone to it at all. Um, it's just, it's tricky to get working. And I'm going to go through what the problems were. <clears throat> so you guys can uh, do it yourself if you want to. But basically, we've got this little area here, and then this goes all the way up uh, to the top of the river, the surface of the river. Yeah, that, that's the river up there. So if we struggle to go along here, and basically what happens is if I push this button, it releases a, a, a piece of water for a short amount of time, uh, and then closes back off. Now, the problems that I've come across is usually I would have this two blocks wide. But for some reason, I'm not quite sure, in 360 Minecraft, or, or in Xbox console Minecraft, whenever whenever you place a boat, it places it in the middle of the block. Like, I'm right on the edge of a block here, see? And when I place it, it's placed it dead in the centre of the block. Can you can, Do you see what I mean? It's like, it, by default, it centres itself. So when we place it in a piece of water... It centers itself, which means we can't do it two blocks wide. Because if we do it two blocks wide, the boat's too far over to the left and it gets caught on the wall. And that was the first problem that took me a while to figure out. So uh, I had to make it three wide. But that made it really difficult because the signs, uh, the, the middle part, the water would actually come towards us, if you know what I mean. The signs would hold that column of water back and the, those signs would hold that water of column back. But the middle one would actually flow towards us and then the boat wouldn't go that way. So I had to put the sign up in the middle, but however, the boat hit the sign. So I then had to have uh, the water set just offset. So the water comes from down here and down here, 
which falls on top of the boat, which pushes the boat forward and left slightly to go through that gap and then up to the surface. And it does work. It works, but it is only one boat. If I push this button, the water comes down and it pushes the boat into that gap. And then the boat goes all the way up to the surface. Ta-da, I think is the word that you're looking for. Well done, AJ. <laughs> and uh, to be able to get the boat to go up, a very important thing is every single block needs to be source. You can't just dig a hole from the top and let the source blocks from the top of the river flow down. Because if you put the boat here, the boat will just sink. Because it's, it's just going to follow the waterfall down. So this block, this block, this block, this block, this block, and this block is all source water. Every single level, every single layer are all individual source blocks. It was a lot of uh, water buckets needed to do it. And that's why the boat goes up. However, this is what we're going to be doing today is at least trying to figure out how we can get more boats to sort of line up to come next. Because as soon as one boat is gone, that's it. And it's only a one-time thing. And I would like to have a minimum of two boats. So one ready to go and one in backup. And then when the one, when you push the button, which will eventually be up on the surface, that button over there will be up on the surface. Uh, once that boat has gone, the next boat gets into position. Trouble is, is it's a lot harder than you might think. It really, really is. And uh, we're in a, such a compact area and we're working with water and redstone, which is never a great idea <laughs> never a great idea uh, but we're gonna we're gonna try it today and I've got some ideas I when I was uh, in bed last night I thought maybe we could go from up here and just have the boats drop on top but then I forgot about these pistons so we can't do that and the original plan as you can see with the cobblestone here was to have sort of lots of these like six of those in a row the only trouble is is that if you push the boat like if you had another waterfall bit here which pushed that boat forward, it would push it forward and it would carry on going, as far as I know. Uh, and the same as this the problem with this block in the middle here. Have we got a sign on us? No, we haven't. Let's just make a sign. Have I got a crafting table down here? I did. I did have a crafting table down here. Okay, we'll make another one. Fair enough. I swear I had one down here. Um, sign, 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 sign. Where are they? Help me, guys. Why... Why do I always lose silly little things? Sign. Sign. Oh, uh, there they are. Right. So we come over here. And if I take this block away, this doesn't need to be there. That was another test I was doing. Now, one thing. I think this is a glitch. Because this water block here should be coming back to us. And I don't know why it isn't. But I'll tell you what. Let's put in... A sign there and a sign there. And I'll show you what I mean. If I get these three water buckets. This episode might be a complete waste of time. And if it is, I apologise. Uh, but as you can see, it, it's flowing back. And the one before it isn't. Now it is. Now it's flowing back. And that's a big problem. Does that stop it? No, it doesn't. I don't know why it was doing it in the first place. But that's the big problem, you see. Uh, of it flowing back. And if it flows back, the boat can't get there. So if we instead put a sign here, that stops the problem. That does completely solve the problem of the water coming back. But I still think that the boat is going to carry on going. So if you put that there, if I get a boat, and I put a boat here, and I give it a push, like the water would, See, it goes all the way down. There's nothing to stop the boat from not carrying on going. Do you know what I mean? Uh, we can't put a piston in to stop it here because that's too early. We can't put it here, obviously, because that's where the boat needs to be. The only option is, is to put a, a piston that sort of rises up to stop the blocks here. So let's, um, let's see what's below it. See if we can fit it in. Because the trouble is we've got redstone below that. So... If we block that off, this is where we would need it to be. I'm going to place a block there just to be safe. See, if we had... I ain't got any pistons on me. Is that a skeleton down there? I think it is. He's 
tracked me all the way down here. He couldn't have spawned down there. It's way too late. Get out of here. One shot. Um, Where was I? Where? Let's go back around here again. There might be enough room. If there is enough room, then that's great news for us. Um, We would need the block to be... Or the piston to be on that level. And then the block to be there. And then that could pop up. That would be there. And then... That might work. That might just work. Let's go and grab some pistons. If we can just get two working today, it it would be my dream come true. I don't think that I can do it. I think I need a lot more time uh, to think about it before I can get it to work. But maybe with you guys watching, we might get lucky. Might get lucky. But we need some sticky pistons to do that with. Uh-huh. Dum 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 Oh, I put carpets along here as well. I don't like these pressure plates here anymore. I'm going to change those to carpets, but I don't know what colour. Maybe red. Red would look quite nice. Have we got any sticky pistons? I've got 17 sticky pistons. Uh, oh, I had one on me. Crazy. I didn't know that. Anyway, back this way. Uh, anything else? While I'm here, do I need anything else? Let's grab some redstone. Yes, we need that. So, we're going to need... Oh, I twisted the potato. Some redstone, some repeaters, some torches, maybe some buttons, maybe some levers, some more torches. Why not? Let's just grab as much as we can. Um. Yeah, I. Th I don't know. It might work if we can. If that block can pop up when whoops when we need it to, and it doesn't break the boat when the boat goes into it, and then it can drop down. We might be on to something. But I think it's going to take some some timing issues with some repeaters. But we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Right, back around here. Up here. Over here. Very twisty, isn't it? Okay. So, uh, we'll get a piston here. And I want a block that stands out. We're going to use wood. Just so it stands out a little bit more. Take that away. Why isn't that running? Why isn't that running? <laughs> I don't know. I hate working with water. Water is terrible to work with. Uh, can I grab from here? I can. Let's get a load of buckets. There we go. Okay, so we have one there. One there. And one in the middle. Okay. So that's back to normal. That's back to how it was. And then if we go under here, that's where the piston is. And we want this to be up by default, don't we? That's what we want. We want it to be up by default. Can I dig? I could dig th uh, that out. I can. Ooh, ooh. Uh, and then we put a repeater to keep it out of the way of that redstone. Because otherwise the redstone's going to hook up. And then take that away. Put a torch there. That powers the piston. Piston is now powered. Okay. Come back up here. Dig out here to, so we can see. Uh, that's the one with the piston on it, isn't it? That's the one with the lamp on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. I can't get out. Got scared. Um, so that's up by default, and then we can turn that off. Whoa, 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 uh, Peter, that, let's just do a test. Ah, we on one block too high, we are, we're on one block too high. It's hard to see when you can't see the other side of the redstone. Uh. Ah, we needed to come down there. Wrong one. Okay, repeater there. Uh, block there. And torch there. Okay. And then... If we just have a piece of redstone coming up here. Okay, yeah. You hear that going off? This is what I'm talking about. I talked about this a few episodes back. 
The hitbox on the torches are completely wrong, look. And it's like that on normal torches, but only sometimes. It's really weird. Usually they're a, a small hitbox, like that. See? Strange. Very strange. Okay, so we can control the piston from here. And it's up by default. Is that enough time? Well, we've got... We've potentially got a... Uh, some play with the time. With the repeater there. So is the boat going to go? It sort of nearly went. <laughs> uh, don't go. I want to get that boat back. I do have some spare boats in the chest nearby. In case we do lose them all up to the surface. Okay, so we'll put that back. Let's change the timing on this. Let's give it as much as we can. Now... Okay, it nearly made it. We need that. We need it to stay down for longer, though. Break, 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 break. We need the piston to stay down for longer. Um. Hmm. Okay, let me have a think for a few minutes, guys. I'll be back when I come up with something. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. And I'm going to talk you through what this is. So, basically, this is the block with the torch on. If you remember, the torch is on the other side of this, which is constantly on, which means that the uh, piston is always powered. And then if we go up here, this was the original route. We had one piece of redstone and then the repeater going in. The trouble is, is that the button would only last so long. The repeater would run out, which would turn the torch back on, which would bring the piston up too quickly. And it's not it wasn't enough time to keep the piston down to let the boat go over. So what I then done is I added this route here, which has another repeater, and then comes through, this repeater has no delay, to this piece of redstone, to this repeater. So now when we push the button, it powered this block, which turned the, the torch off, and it went through here as well, and then went back to here, and this powered the block before this turned off, so the torch stays on, oh, so this torch stays off, sorry, which keeps the piston down, but that wasn't, that was just slightly too short. So then I added a third route which goes round. So now it powers the block from here. Goes round, powers the block from here. And goes round and powers the block from here. Which now keeps the block down for a longer period of time. If I push this button. I can't see. Let me get in a place so I can see. If I push this button. It goes down. Oh, you can't see it. Let me get it. Our pickaxe is so going to break soon. Okay. So we push the button. Block goes down, and then it comes up. And see, that's a lot longer than what it would normally be. If you hooked a button up to a piston, it would be a lot longer than that. So I need this block here, otherwise the boat tries to ride over. But now, I think I've got a ton of boats up on the surface. <laughs> if I put the boat here, and we push the button, let's get back up onto our spot again. Uh, uh, uh. Then I push the button, the water comes down. The boat clears it, and it goes up, and then the block comes back up again. Uh, by the way, if you don't know what this is here, uh, this button also uh, comes down here from this torch, powers these repeaters so they don't hook up to other redstone, that redstone down there. Uh, so it comes down here, along here, into this block. Uh, in fact, I don't think this lead needs to be here anymore. This is from an old, an old idea. I think I can take that away. Let me just test it again. I think that was from a, a piston idea that I had. I think we're still fine, aren't we? Yeah, we're still fine. Okay, so the redstone lead comes down here, goes up here to this torch, and goes up there to that torch. Uh, and then that powers these uh, torches, which turns them off, which turns that redstone on, which turns that torch off, which then powers the piston above it. And it's the same on both sides. So then that temporarily opens the pistons up, which allows the water through. But that's all that is, if you didn't know what it was. So, now, we just need to replicate this design over here. Uh, I think we can probably build it together, you know. I think, I think I've done enough off-camera to be able to uh, do this together. I need some more signs. So let's put a sign there and a sign there. This sign is to stop the water that falls from coming back. I'm not sure if it's completely necessary, but it's just the way that I done it when I first 
done the prototype design, so I've just kept it there. So that goes there, and that goes there. Um, uh, <laughs> I've done so much, it's so confusing to me now. We need that there and there. Some torches. We're going to need a torch there. And a torch. Let's put a normal torch there. And that torch. Come on, there. Back up, back up, back up. Getting caught in the water. Okay, and then we're going to need a block with a piece of redstone on there. Let's dig some area. My pickaxe is... I think my pickaxe might break this episode, you know. I've got a feeling it's really on its way out. So, we're going to come under here. And put a torch there. Which then touches the, tor the redstone on above it. Which turns the torch off. Ah, uh, get up! Why can't I get up? Everything's a struggle. There we go. So now the torch is off. Which is what we uh, are going to oppose in a moment. Um, let me dig out an area. I'm not going to sit here and dig out cobblestone with you guys. Let me dig out an area and I'll come back once we're at a point. Okay, so I've done the wiring. It's really simple. Torch, redstone, torch. And then I've just literally mirrored exactly what I've got there. As you can see, it's a complete mirror. Hopefully there's enough room in the middle here for me to put the piston. That's what I'm really hoping. If not, we are going to be stumped. Um, but it's been a good a good learning curve anyway. If it doesn't work by the end of the episode, then just think of this episode as being a way of teaching you how not to do something. Does that sound good? I think that sounds good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to now bust out. It's on this level here. Please be no water or nothing above me. Thank you. Uh, we need the normal pistons. Get out of this water. Normal pistons. Uh, th there. Nope. No, 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 no. There. And. Ah. Uh, there. Wonderful. Wonderful. And then the water is above that one and that one. So, let's um, take those torches off for now to give us some room. Ah. Dig that. Woo! Block, quickly, we're rolling away. Come back, swim back. There. We just need the water sources above there. Let's get some buckets of water. And then we have one there and one there. Excellent, excellent. Get our torch back. I've got one torch to go. Ah! Come back here. One torch to go. Ah, let me up. Eh, there. And then the other one goes in here. Excellent. So now when we push the button, we should get both water sources coming down. Which we do. Excellent. No delay between them or anything as well. Which I think is good. We might want to put some delay on these ones. I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't worked worked it out fully. Okay, so then I'm going to take this water away now. Because the next one we need the piston to be in on this level. What's below here? Nothing. That's quite a good sign. Let's put this block down here. Get a sticky piston. Like this. And then we're going to use another bit of wood so I know where the block is. And then we're going to replicate. Hopefully we can do the same sort of thing, at least very similar, below here. And then we're going to have to work with some timings. So, block. And, oops. Ah! Where's that redstone? Did I not have a... Oh, I had a... Uh, uh, repeater going in there. Uh, how am I going to reach it? Can I reach from here? There we go. Uh, and then a torch goes there. We're just copying exactly what we have on the other side. And then all I need to do is do another one of these, I think, from this button. So we could go from here and go around this way. Pickaxe is going to go. It's so going to go. Like this. And build another one of these clocks. Okay. I'm going to do that and have a little bit of a play around and see what we can come up with. Uh, I should come back if there's anything important to come back to. Okay. So I've got this piston working as well. 
it goes for a little bit longer. But it still comes up again. And that shouldn't be a problem. So now, it's going to sort of start to be the moment of truths. <laughs> Which uh, I'm getting a little bit nervous about. We are going to have to play with some timings. But hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. I'm really excited because I've always wanted one of these. I've always wanted a boat dispenser. Uh, can't take it from there anymore, apparently. Um, okay, let's make an, a water source. I don't want to take it from that middle there. Because I really don't want to mess up some, you know, all, all the workings. I don't want it to go wrong. That would be so terrible. There. I've got one bucket. Goes there. Grab the middle. Put it there. Grab it again. Put it back. Wonderful. Okay. One, two. Whoops. Three. That should all be all we need for the moment. And we go one, two, three. Oh, nope. Steak. Okay. It's running round. Okay, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, you know what? Let's just go for it. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. Whoops. First time. But... We should give it a go. We should give it a go. We're going to have one boat there. Get out. One boat here. And then we're going to... Whoops! Whoops! Fell down. I know this was a little bit more messy. Uh, I can compact it up later, but for the moment, it's uh, fine how it is. Uh, I want to get into a spot where I can see. Let me up. Uh, uh. I can't see. We should just know if one boat's gone and the other boat is back, it's still there, then we know we've done it right. And I'm not going to know for a long time because I can't see anything. Okay, did it break? Was that the problem? It did. It broke. Did it break on this block? I want to see. I got small boats. Don't worry, I got small boats. Ah! Huh. Oh. <laughs> this is a tricky place to be. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ha, ha. Let's put that there. Just that one for now. Uh, I really wish I could just see. I keep falling down. I keep jumping and it's not jumping. And it's making me very upset. Uh, hmm. It breaks. It breaks. How can we stop that? How can we stop it from breaking? Because it's so close. It's so it's so nearly working. Boop. It is so nearly working. It like comes up underneath it. Okay. So what about if we try and put they got all the stuff? If we put a bit more of a delay before that one opens and the pistons above that one opens. Okay, we can do this by if we do the water one first, the water is controlled through this one and this one. So that's changed it by three ticks, which then we means we need to add this to three ticks, which we can do right here. One, two, three. Let's get some more boats. Is three ticks going to be enough? Because if it can come up, it, I don't know. It might work. It might It might not work. But it's worth a shot. Let's put this here. If we can just get the boat to stop, it would just be great. Uh, you know, I'm going to put this block back here as well. Okay, go. It broke again, didn't it? Hmm. Let's try it once more. I'm just trying to think of an idea. Maybe you guys can help me in the comment section below. Yeah, see it come up. Hmm. I don't know. Let me have a five minutes more play. If I don't come up with anything, we'll end off the episode and I'll leave it to you guys to come up with the ideas. So I should be back. Okay, I still can't do it. I've added a few extra ticks to see if that will sort of help, but it didn't. The last resort that I've got before I end off the episode is putting in a mono-stable circuit. Uh, which shouldn't be too much of a problem to do. We need a sticky piston. 
Uh, whoa, is that another ravine? <laughs> it's like ravine, there. there's a torch there. I'm not going to go down too low. Um, but yeah, if we put a, mo whoops, a monostable circuit in here, uh, that hopefully should fix the problem. Ah, but it's backwards. <laughs> okay, um, okay, we can do it, we can do it. We'll take that away. Now it's not that. And then that powers it. Monostable circuit. Uh, repeater. Um, we shouldn't need a repeater going in. We could have a repeater coming out if we wanted to. Uh, or, or, take that away. Put that there. Put the piece of redstone up. Take this down, reverse the signal. Oh, did we burn out? Possibly. Um, we're getting it, we're getting it slowly. We just need to join these up. We can, we need those two joined up, which it is now, but we also need it joined up and powered by the torch there's those two powered we just need to power those two so maybe if we take that out there's that one and then we just need to do the last one don't give up on me pickaxe please uh, that one there and then come around there okay so now we've got a mono stable circuit in there that should give it less time for the water to come out so there should be less water okay that's two less water there's not enough water not enough time to for the pistons to even open up is there what's gone wrong whoops nope let's get everything out of my inventory okay it's not actually powering it so we'll change this to that change that to that and go again. Hmm. Okay. We should bring it up a level. We shall do that. Put that back. Bring it up a level. Hup. Hup. There we go. That's better. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. Right now. Should get some water come through. Why aren't we now? Okay, it's not coming out. Boop! Uh -huh. Last attempt, and then I'm gonna call it an episode. Now what's wrong? It is too short of a time. It is too quick, and we can't easily extend that. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, so close. Um, ouch. That hurt. Uh, no, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm going to have a play with it between now and next episode. We're getting stupidly complicated now. Uh, all for a boat system. <laughs> but yeah, this episode will teach you how not to do it. We're going to have to leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I know this episode was a little bit different to usual. We were just sort of having a bit of an experiment more than anything, more than completing anything, uh, but I still enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, yeah, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. Give me my repeater back. Bye! <laughs>